Hello, welcome to uh, the presentation on political polarization and identity politics. Uh, this is version 1.001. Uh, this is a very challenging problem and uh, requires a very slow and uh, long-term horizon. Uh, I apologize for the first version. Uh, this is a sapling compared to the tree. Uh, to approach this problem, we can consider Lincoln's letter to Meade. Um, after Meade won the Battle of Gettysburg, but failed to chase Lee's army, Lincoln wrote a withering letter, but did not send it. Um, through his own arduous personal journey, Lincoln was able to raise the bar for his patience and deeply see and identify with Meade's experience. When Lyndon Johnson was the United States president, and who was driving with uh, Joe Califano, uh, they saw a homeless man. Uh, and uh, Lyndon remarked that he and I are this close. Um, and this is very true because if Lyndon did not um, uh, get clobbered by a farmer when he was uh, when when he was young, he very likely would not have gone to college, and his uh, personal trajectory might very well have uh, uh, sort of put him on track with the homelessness. Uh, Warren Buffett once remarked that uh, we're, we're all drawn from the same lottery pool. Some people win, some people lose but we're all drawn from the same pool. Uh, uh, the very difficult challenge is to raise the bar f for our, our youth and for Lincoln's patience and Lyndon's belief. Uh, most of our effort will be a holding action because since the identity perception is, is a very plastic requiring effort, um, most Efforts will fail with adults because perceptions will be set. Uh, the most productive effort will be the K through 12 education. Uh, this will have a delayed effect in policy of policies. Uh, we're only able to see change in, uh, after a generation. Um, for the tier list, um, uh, primary dr 
driver for for the identity politics is the scarcity of work. Um, how would we? Uh, reach the youth in the problem areas where the ecosystem is uh, is 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 not very good. Uh, how do we create eco shared experiences? Um, how do we reform? Uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, least productive um, media dynamics. Um, how do we structure this long-term change phases? Uh, how do we create cultural products that are constructive. Uh, where can we find a vehicle to study this more deeply, this problem more deeply? Um, for the scarcity of work, when we're at work, uh, we're not sort of the Attention uh, is is uh, sort of sustained, uh, but when we're out of work, the attention gravitates towards the vortex, and also uh, when when we have a job. Uh, uh, we feel valued and appreciated on the basis of our contribution, uh, on the basis of our uh, uh, valued place in society. Um, how do we Build and broadcast equal shared experiences. Uh, everyone uh, went to school. Uh, some of the others are PC gaming and sports that that have a, a, a constructive goal. Uh, how uh, how do we find um media how do we reform the media um in this internet age uh we are uh we gravitate towards more sensationalist articles, and this this sort of erosion of patience is in in conflict with this need uh, for to raise the bar for patience. It alters gradually. It alters the world view and reinforces perceptions. Uh, when we construct, when we consider something uh, as large and complicated as identity politics. Uh, there's nothing there, but vehicles like Paris, the movie Parasite, uh, 
ads have a vehicle uh, add something there to study um, and repeated uh, relaunchings of the vehicle uh, deepens our understanding of the problem and um, and deepens our experiential understanding of the problem as well. Not just the facts, but um, our experiential understanding. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.